Hello everybody! Today let's try to install WordPress and MySQL. So we have our Docker host running and we have our FreeNAS containers ready to go. However, before we continue, I shall actually go to console and do something. So stay with me. Okay, in console I am going to type shell and then I'm going to navigate to the mount folder, change directory cd mount and my volume name. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two folders, one for my SQL and one for WordPress. Now this is not necessary, you can skip this step entirely, however I like doing this because I like to know where I put my files in. I'm going to change the permissions to 775 on both of these directories Re really quickly. So this doesn't really take long at all. And I'm going to exit and let's go back to our Docker. Okay, so first we need to create MySQL. So let's go down to MySQL and create an instance. All right, let's give it a name. Something that makes sense. Select our host and the path. Now the folder that I created for MySQL, I'm gonna select it here. Okay, and then these fields are self-explanatory, the password, user, uh, you, you can have a, another user if you want, and the last box you can skip. And then network setting, I'm going to try to use a host, which means the FreeNAS installation for our networking, and try to use localhost to connect to the database. I must admit, I'm, I'm a little worried that this might not work because I've read up that people were having issue connecting to the local host, either local host or 127.0.0.1. But I'm going to try first in, in host mode. And if it doesn't work, then I'm going to switch to the bridge mode and, and give my SQL really an IP address. So it's saying it's ready for connections. So that means the MySQL is ready. Next thing to do is to go and um, we need to create our WordPress container. So let's just do it. WordPress is all the way down to the bottom. Let's look at the readme file. Okay. Let's give it a name. Highlight our container. And now, um, I remember how I created in the beginning the directory for WordPress. Okay, so let's select a VM and go to mount and then volume and then folder again. And that's var slash www slash html. Hit save. All right. So let's fill this up. I'm going to use localhost uh, to try the first time. Um, a localhost should work if I hit it because it's on the host itself and by default it knows that it's on port 3306 so it should be fine with that so let's use root and root password and the database name and give it a prefix a prefix by default WordPress uses uh, WP underscore and 
anybody who knows anything knows that WordPress by default likes to use that. So if you want to change it for security reasons, you can really. So just name it whatever you want. So I'm going to name it blah, you know, underscore. Anything you want really. So this is a test WordPress for me. So I, I'm not concerned about naming convention, convention in, in this video. But like I said, for security reasons, you might want to do that. And uh, let's focus over to the network. I'm going to do bridge network naturally because I want to give the, the website a static IP address. And I'm going to generate a MAC address. And you know, this is entirely optional. If you want to give it a host name, this is for your internal purposes for now. For your container, I'm not going to make it auto start, and uh, it might be a good idea to give it a limit on memory because you you don't want your server running wild. Um, but if you're just testing these things out, it's not a big deal. So hit save and. In a little bit, it should be done. And once it's done, we can test it out. Okay, let's look it over. We have our name, our location of our uh, HTML, and it, the container installer added a bunch of variables. And it looks in bridge mode, everything looks okay. So let's start it. Okay, start it up. I'm going to take a look at. Uh, I'm going to take a look at the console and see if it's connecting right. And it's not. It says it's not connected with my SQL. So, I have to admit I've come across this issue before. Uh, uh, trying to connect on localhost and on uh, 127.0.0.1. Uh, when I am in host mode on my SQL. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my SQL to bridge mode and give it an IP address from the same subnet. Let's just go to 1.6 and generate MAC address really fast. Um, that should be okay. So instead of using host network for my SQL, I'm actually going to go into bridge mode. So once it's saved, it should come up. Uh, but modifying created container just doesn't, it didn't work for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete it and recreate it really fast because I deleted it I'm going to open up the shell you can go to console type in shell and I'm going to delete uh, the files that were left over from the previous installation you know um, like I said you don't have to do any of this this is optional but since I like to organize my containers into folders that I can actually find easily and know what they are instead of everything being meshed in the VM host this works for me, it might not work for you. So I recreated that WordPress uh, directory again, and I am going to go into FreeNAS and recreate the container from scratch again really fast. WordPress, uh, let's give it a name. Select our host. Okay, uh, select the VM and uh, point to the mount, then volume name, then my directory that I created. And again, let's do slash var slash www slash HTML. Click save and fill in the database again really fast. But now, instead of using localhost or 127.0.0.1, I'm going to use the IP address and the port of my SQL. 
instance. And I'm gonna use the root user for my SQL and the root password for my SQL. And database name. And again, give it a prefix. I'm gonna go into bridge mode and set the same IP address I did before. And generate a MAC address, give it a host name. Again, this is entirely optional. You don't have to go crazy. Uh, like I said before, you can set a memory limit. It might be a good idea to do so. And we have our container created. And all the environmental variables are there. And it's coming up, so let's see. Let's go to that IP address, 192.168.1.10. And here we go. <laughs> so I'm going to fill it up really fast. Okay, and let's go to our installation. And there you have it, folks. For whatever reason, my SQL would not connect when it's set as host. But when I gave it an IP address of its own, it's connecting. So WordPress installation and my SQL works great when both have an IP address. So if you're, you know, searching for how to install, there you have it. Uh, I'm sure those little bugs will be worked out soon. Uh, and uh, if you have hours to spend Google and see what the issue is, I'm sure you could work it out on your own too. In CLI, this would be probably easier to fix. Thank you and as always, have a great day. Bye.